guys today in this episode i'm going to show you how to remove roblox desktop app once again All right so first what you've got to do is join a game once you join the game you are now infected with the virus so all you've got to do is leave that game now once you're in the virus if there is no button here like me you press X right here and you can minimize this tab. And now you want to head to your desktop. And hopefully you should have these shortcuts. If you do not press your Windows key or press here on Windows and then find and go to the Roblox player. If it's still not there, if it's still not there after everything. Now what you've got to do is right click it, open file location. And now here we've got this. This is the virus right here. All right, now what we're going to do is delete this but if you get this and you cannot delete it what you've got to do after this is go down to your taskbar and click on task manager or do the shortcut for task manager or type in task manager whatever so you get up task manager press more details make sure on processes press name so this arrows up and then now you scroll down until you find roblox game client it is very very hidden because for some reason when you leave the game, it's just like, I don't know, press end task. And then you come back here and you come back to the folder. You right, you left click or you can right click. And now you just want to delete this. All right. Now, I don't know what this is, but you can delete it. I can assure you that. This Roblox player launcher, right click this, go down to properties, compatibility, compatible. Yep. And then. What you want to do is run this program as administrator and press apply button. Then, okay, now when you press this button, it's going to ask if you want to play the game. It shouldn't install Roblox because I did the math. Now, if I leave the game, the only problem I've been finding is that it does this. It crashes every single time. So you, what you have to do is Alt F4 and get this and then press that or you, or you just ignore that screen and get another game up. And as you see, refresh, there is no Roblox beta. It can get very, very, very annoying every single time you start a Roblox game and then, and then, and then, didn't ask for my permission. Yeah, so did it again, did the crash thing, so you had to Alt F4, all right, let me try the best game in the world. All right, look at that, enjoying the games now. And you don't have to press yes every single time. If you do have to press yes though every single time. Oh look at that, I left the game without alt F4ing. So I think it's just some games are cursed with like F alt F4ing. You have to always press yes and that's getting very very annoying. What you can do also is incompatibility. Disable this and apply. You can also do run this program in compatibility mode 4. And then you press Windows 8 and apply. That also works. Here we go. I press adopt me. The best game in the whole world. As you see, I get no like yes button. I just have to um compatibility mode. And then I can leave the game fine. Very, very fine without alt f 4 That's how you remove that stupid thing. Change the oof sound. And now they're adding this. 